What's up, y'all? Hotep Jesus. I'm walking outside today doing a video. Um, I hope y'all forgive me. But it's a fairly decent day. And I gotta go to the store for some shit. So check it out, right? Apparently, uh, Miss USA was uh, finally black. We got a, I'm sure we had other ones, right? I don't know. I don't pay attention to shit like that. I ain't watch it last night. I don't really care. But apparently, we got like some nuclear physicist chick. I don't know her name. Nuclear physicist chick. And she's not down with the feminist movement. So I like her. She's smart. She's thinking. She said she believes that healthcare is uh, a privilege and not a right. Which is pretty interesting. I hadn't really given this topic too much thought up until now. And I've decided that I agree. Healthcare is a right. You see, the problem is Healthcare is an insurance company, right? And it's called insurance. And that's a scam in many ways. For example, when you go to the ER, they charge you like the cost of a car just to get there in the ambulance. This is a scam. They don't take that much gas to get from there to there. Half these EMTs are, are, are volunteers. So where's this money going? So all that mumbo jumbo, I definitely believe is a right. I mean, um, it's a privilege to have something like insurance. You got a job, you should come with insurance. I'm up in the air on uh, the Health Care Reform Act, AKA Obamacare. But anyway, they have attacked this black lady, the left wing, the evil left, have attacked this Miss USA lady uh, for stepping off of the plantation. You know, in the black community, uh, they say, we're, we're, we're not monolithic. <laughs> but yet, if you don't follow the monolithic political structure that they got laid out to them by white liberals they kicking you off the plantation they they saying you're not black no more they taking your black card back they trading you in a race draft my question is for y'all and them what are the implications of a group of people that are secular dogmatic in their politics I believe that it leaves them open to control you see when a group is kind of like uh, has a wide variety of ideas it's kind of hard to quantify and group up and when you can't really quantify something you can't really target it but if everybody believes a certain thing, then it's easy to target. You say, okay, you know, this is what all these people like. So let's talk about this, right? So for example, if Heineken wanted to run an ad, they wouldn't run an ad in front of a bunch of uh, people who are under the age of 21. They probably run it to people who are of age drinking and have had a Heineken before. These are important details and targeting an audience. The black community is being targeted by left-wing politics. Now, that's just one angle I'm looking at this thing. I'm sure you guys can surmise on your own time some other issues that could arise from being secular and dogmatic in your politics. Leave them in the comment box, subscribe, and don't forget to visit hotepnation.com. Woke water on sale now. I'm about to increase the price to $125. It's $89 right now, but if you get there, 
before I change the price, it's yours. Hotel.